Hi there, it's Eric Evanson with Bootstrap Biz Growth, and in today's video, I want to show you the five must have tools for working with a virtual assistant. So, these are the five tools that we use every single day to manage projects, to delegate tasks, and to communicate with our virtual employees. And these tools are just absolute lifesavers. And the really cool thing about them is that they're completely free. They all have free versions that we used for years with no issues at all. They also have a premium version if you want to get more advanced. We now use one of these premium products, uh, but the free versions are going to get you by completely fine and they are really awesome tools. And so what I want to do today is I want to just kind of quickly run through each of these five tools and show you how we use them. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull up my screen so you can see that. Um, okay, there we go. So. The first tool I want to talk about is Asana, and this is a project management tool that we use, and it is totally free, just like all these, up to 15 people. So what you do is you create an Asana profile, and in here you see my Asana dashboard. So the first thing I do is after setting this up is I want to go in and invite all my people on my team. And so I just send them an invite. And once they're in my team, then I can create tasks and delegate those tasks to those people. So I'll just show you quickly how I use it. In here, I have created a project called Today's Tasks, and you create other projects. So maybe you have a project for each client, however you want to set it up. But I've created a Today's Task project board. And so I'm going to come in here, I'm going to add a task. So I'm going to type out a basic title, um, Create New Infographic. So maybe I have a virtual assistant that's a designer and I want them to create an infographic. That's the title. Over here it opens up that task card where I can create a description and here I'm going to really outline what I want them to do exactly, all those the ins and outs of the project and the specific uh, details that they need to know. And then once I do that I'm going to come up here and I'm going to assign the tasks to that person that's responsible. I'm going to set a due date just to let them know when I need this um, completed by, so we'll say the 14th Thursday, and um, then what I really like to do is I like to attach video tutorials. So I'll actually create a video tutorial really quickly and show them exactly what I want to be done or show them examples um, of, of projects that are similar that, I, that they can reference. So I'll just attach that video on here, or maybe it's just a screenshot, whatever you need to do to explain the task. Uh, and then once you do that, they're going to get a notification on their side that says, you know, so-and-so has uh, delegated a task to you. It's due on Thursday, and they're going to be able to go in and complete that task. Once they're done, they're going to mark it as complete, and you're going to get a notification saying that job has been completed, and now you can move on and create new tasks for your virtual employees. So this is the number one tool that we use. We use it every day. Almost all of our communications now take place within Asana. Um, so highly recommend this tool. It's a must have. The next tool I want to talk about is Screencast-O-Matic. And I talked briefly there about creating video tutorials. And this is the tool to do that. It is completely free. Uh, a lot of these video recording tools do cost a lot of money. So this one's free and that's really great. Um, this happens to be the one tool where we now pay for the premium plan because it's four dollars a month it's crazy cheap uh, but it's worth it we do that because it allows us to create videos that are a little bit longer and it allows us to edit our videos we really like their video editor so that's why we do that but the free version is perfectly fine it allows you to create videos up to 15 minutes long which should be more than enough if you're just creating training videos um, so you just download it uh, download it to com your computer it's a really trustworthy product and then you can create videos. I'm actually creating this video right now using Screencast-O-Matic. So this is a must-have tool again for, for training all your virtual employees and giving them feedback on their work so you can go through and point out exactly what you like and don't like about their completed work, which is really great for um, managing your virtual employees and getting the most out of them. The third tool that we use is Google Hangouts. So we use this just to communicate. Um, Specifically, I use the message part. So click messages, find your virtual employee. It's going to bring up a chat window over here, and you can do live chat back and forth just to do a quick communication. 
I like to have my virtual employees send me a message when they're starting their work day. So that just tells me that now they're online and it allows me to communicate with them if I need something done really quickly that just pops up all of a sudden. Um, I know that I can reach them with Google Chat because I just have them stay logged into this all day while they're working. If you want, you can also do phone calls or video calls too if you want to make it a little bit more personal. But for me, I find that chat is really all you need. The fourth tool is Grammarly. And this is again going to help with communication. When you're working with people in the Philippines, English is not their first language. They are very good English speak speakers and writers, uh, but it's not their first language. So there are going to be grammar or spelling mistakes from time to time. And this helps with that. So what I do is I have them download Grammarly. Again, it's a free, free app. I think it's a Chrome extension. Um, I have this, them download this to their, their computer and as they're writing or sending any communications to me, it's just going to underline any grammar or spelling mistakes and that's going to help them fix it so that communications are very clear and there's no misunderstandings. So this is a really great free tool. I use it personally for myself too, uh, just because I love it, but it's a must have for your virtual employees to download. The fifth and final tool is LastPass. And this one is a password management tool. Again, it's free. And what this does is it saves all of your passwords in their encrypted tool so that when you go to a website uh, and you click log in, it's just going to pre-populate with the username and password so that all you have to do is hit log in. You don't have to remember a thousand passwords. Um, all you have to do is log into LastPass once uh, and then all your passwords will be um, saved and ready to use as soon as you go to a certain website. And then when you want to be done or you're not using your computer anymore, just log out of LastPass and you know your, your computer will be secure again. So that's really great on a personal level, but how you use it on a virtual assistant level is you get your virtual assistant to also download LastPass. And then with that, you can delegate access to certain websites. You can give them access to those websites without actually sharing your password and username. So what I do is uh, say I need, I want to give them access to my email. Okay, so I'm going to go into LastPass and say share username and password with um, my virtual assistant. So with this person, it's going to send them access to, send access to my email to their LastPass account. So they're going to log in. When they go to Gmail or whatever email platform you're using, they're going to go to log in and it's going to, populate their my username and my password in there it's all gonna be encrypted so they can't see it but it's gonna pop up in there they just hit log in and now they're in my email so it's a really great tool for sharing access to different tools without actually compromising your passwords and then if you know you have issues with them you can revoke that access at any time so that is really great for security purposes these are the five tools we use like I said we love these tools. It really makes managing your virtual employees a breeze. And again, they're all free. So down below in the description, we've put links to each of these tools. And I would just encourage you to go download and start using each of these tools. I really think they're gonna make a big difference for your outsourcing efforts. And if you like this video or you like these tools, we'd really appreciate you hitting the thumbs up button down below and sharing this video with anybody else that you might know that is outsourcing or wants to outsource um, and just wants to improve their process and find really great ways to better leverage their virtual employees. Thanks for watching this video. We really appreciate it and check back soon because we're going to be releasing new videos every single day.